Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Land, Soil, Water, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife Resources. Question number 1. What does land use refer to? Option A. Use of land for many purposes. Option B. Land for sale. Option C. Mortgage land. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Use of land for many purposes. Land use refers to the use of land for different purposes such as agriculture, mining, construction, etc. Question number 2. Why is conservation of land resources required? Option A. Demand is growing. Option B. Land is limited. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Both A and B. The conservation of land resources is required because people and their demands are growing but the availability of land is limited. Question number 3. What is referred as the breaking up and decaying of exposed rocks by the Option A. Weathering. Option B. Formation. Option C. Erosion. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Weathering. It refers to the breaking up and decaying of exposed rocks by changes in temperature, frost action, plants, animals, and human activity. Question number 4. What is the role of parent rocks in the soil formation? Option A. Color. Option B. Texture. Option C. Chemical properties. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is Option D. All of them. It determines color, texture, chemical properties, mineral content, and permeability of the soil. Question number 5. Where can we find water market in India? Option A. Bareilly. Option B. Amreli. Option C. Surat. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Amreli. Amreli city in Saurashtra region having population of about 1.25 lakhs that is totally dependent upon purchasing of water. Question number 6. What do you mean by biosphere? Option A. Establishment of new firm. Option B. Contact between company and labor. Option C. Natural vegetation. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Natural vegetation. Natural vegetation and wildlife exists in the narrow zone of contact between lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. That zone is known as biosphere. Question number 7. What do you understand by the term CPR? Option A. Community Property Resources Option B. Common Property Resources Option C. Common Planning Resources Option D. None of these The correct answer is Option A. Community Property Resources CPR means Community Property Resources they are commonly owned and shared by communities for for example a park, a marriage hall, growing area etc. Question number 8. How much water is wasted by the dripping tap? Option A. 1000 liter. Option B. 1200 liter. Option C. 1100 liter. Option D. 1400 liters. The correct answer is Option B. 1200 litre.
A dripping tap wastes 1200 liter water in a year. Question number 9. What is a biosphere reserve? Option A. Protected area linked through global network. Option B. Land use for production. Option C. Farmer's land. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Protected area linked through global network. Biosphere reserve is a series of protected areas which are linked through a global network. They are intended to demonstrate the relationship between conservation and development. Question number 10. How forests are classified on the basis of latitude? Option A. Tropical forests. Option B. Temperate forests. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option C. Both A and B. On the basis of latitude, there are two types of forests. Tropical forests and temperate forests. Question number 11. Which one of the following is not a factor of soil formation? Option A. Time. Option B. Soil texture. Option C. Organic matter. Option D. Mulching. The correct answer is. Option B. Soil texture. The major factors of soil formation are the nature of the parent rock and climatic factors. Other factors are the topography, role of organic material and time taken for the composition of soil formation. Question number 12. Which is the most appropriate method to check soil erosion on steep slopes? Option A. Shelter belts. Option B. Mulching. Option C. Terrace cultivation. Option D. Contour barriers. The correct answer is Option C. Terrace cultivation. Terrace farming is made on the steep slopes so that flat surfaces are available to grow crops. They can reduce surface runoff and soil erosion. Question number 13. Which one of the following is not in favor of the conservation of nature? Option A. Switch off the bulb when not in use. Option B. Close the tap immediately after using. Option C. Dispose poly packs after shopping. Option D. Constructing rock dams. The correct answer is. Option C. Dispose poly packs after shopping. Dispose poly packs after shopping is one of the things that are not in the favor of the conservation of nature. Question number 14. Which one of the following determines the land use pattern? Option A. Minerals. Option B. Climate. Option C. Topography. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is. Option D. All of these, land is used for different purposes such as agriculture, minerals, climate, topography, mining, building houses, roads and setting up of industries. This is commonly termed as land use. Question number 15. Where is the Kaziranga National Park is situated? Option A. West Bengal. Option B. Manipur. Option C. Assam. Option D. Orissa. The correct answer is. Option C. Assam. Kaziranga National Park is situated in Assam. Spread across the floodplains of the Brahmaputra River, its forests, wetlands and grasslands are home to tigers, elephants and the world's largest population of Indian one-horned rhinoceroses. Question number 16. Which areas can be avoided for building settlements? Option A. Terrace farming. Option B. Landslide. Option C. Contour plowing. Option D. Odisha. The 
The correct answer is Option B. Landslide Hazard mapping locate areas prone to landslides. Hence, such areas can be avoided for building settlements. Construction of retention wall to stop land from slipping. Question number 17. What do you mean by shelter belts? Option A. Wind movement to protect soil cover. Option B. Wind movement to erosion. Option C. Belt for trees. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Wind movement to protect soil cover. Shelter belts is the coastal and dry regions. Rows of trees are planted to check the wind movement to protect soil cover. Question number 18. What do you mean by fallow land? Option A. Group of plants in areas having similar climatic condition. Option B. Land covered with grass shrubs on which animals graze freely. Option C. Marginal land kept fallow for a certain period to restore their fertility. Option D. Breaking up and decaying of exposed rocks due to various factors. The correct answer is Option C. Marginal land kept fallow for a certain period to restore their fertility. Marginal land kept fallow for a certain period to restore their fertility is known as fallow land. Question number 19. What do you mean by biome? Option A. Group of plants in areas having similar climatic condition. Option B. Land covered with grass shrubs on which animals graze freely. Option C. Marginal land kept fallow for a certain period to restore their fertility. Option D. Breaking up and decaying of exposed rocks due to various factors. The correct answer is Option A. Group of plants in areas having similar climatic condition. A biome is a community of plants and animals that have common characteristics for the environment they exist in. They can be found over a range of continents. Question number 20. Which one of the following explained the term weathering? Option A. Marginal land kept fallow for a certain period to restore their fertility. Option B. Breaking up and decaying of exposed rocks due to various factors. Option C. Groups of plant in areas having similar climatic condition. Option D. Land covered with grass shrubs on which animals graze freely. The correct answer is Option B. Breaking up and decaying of exposed rocks due to various factors. Weathering the breaking up and decay of exposed rocks by temperature changes, frost action plants, animals and man. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.